So you're single and you want to buy a house. Well, I'll tell you this, you are not alone. As a matter of fact, 28% of all the homes purchased in the year 2021 were purchased by single people. So if this is your dream, stay tuned for my top tips on how to make this dream a reality. Over the past 40 years, the number of sole person ownership of homes has doubled. According to Freddie Mac, our calculations suggest that there will be an additional 5 million sole person households in the United States in the next 10 years. This means 42% of household growth will be contributed by sole person households. So here are my three top tips to help you purchase a home as a single person. Number one, you've got to know your credit score. When you are looking to purchase a home with a mortgage, your credit score is the only thing that the lender can take into consideration. So know what your credit score is, and if it needs a little bit of work, let's connect you with a pro that can help you make the best decisions so you can get your credit restored to a position where you have a really good interest rate as quickly as possible. If you're purchasing with cash, you don't need to worry about your credit score, but if you are looking at a mortgage, absolutely know what it is. They can only base it on your credit score. No co-signing here, you're buying on your own. And I can connect you with a professional to help you get it to the point you need it to be in order to get the interest rate you want. Number two, explore your down payment options and your down payment programs. Basically what I'm saying is explore all the lending options for you and all the different lending options will have different down payment programs that are going to be a part of your loan program. Once you've explored those, you know what you qualify for and you also can set a goal for how much money you need to save for your down payment. We're fortunate here in Virginia. We have some first time home buyer uh, programs where there is no down payment, zero down payment. We have a lot of veterans who can purchase homes with 100% financing. It's not a 20% down payment anymore. There's a lot of different down payment options. So explore those options again, just like with your credit score, so you can set up a plan to save your down payment. And I'll add this little caveat to the down payment. You also want to save for your closing costs. So that's in addition to your down payment, you wanna save for your closing costs. In our competitive real estate market that I foresee as having here in 2022, you will be in competition for homes and having the ability to pay your own closing costs will make your offers stand out among other offers in the mix. So know what your down payment is going to be, explore those options and save your money for your closing costs as well. And finally, number three, think about what you want in a home but not necessarily three bedrooms, two baths, basement, garage. I want you to think about the lifestyle that you want to live when you're living in your home. Does your home need to be close to work? Do you need to be close to family? Do you need to have a garage? Do you need to have an extra bedroom that can serve as an at-home office or for your family to stay in when they visit? Do you want to share walls with other folks? Do you want a condo? Do you want a townhouse? Do you want a single family home? Do you want acreage? You need to think about these things. And as a single person, it's also an important piece to think about the fact that this is not only the place that you will live, this is also a long-term investment. So though it might fit your needs right now, it might not fit your needs in a few years, and that's okay. So in looking at homes and thinking of homes that you want, think about homes that would have great resale potential or great rental potential in the future. So if you become not single anymore and you want to combine households or get married and start a family or uh, move to a different area, you want to make sure the home that you purchase is a good investment at the same time. You don't want it to be highly, highly personalized just for you. So a real estate professional such as myself can help guide you through that process. We know the inventory, we know what's out there, and we also know what has great resale potential in the future. So lean on us to help you with that. So even though buying a home by yourself might seem like a huge mountain, but with a team of professionals on your side, 
you will make great choices and feel very confident in your decisions. One thing I like to do with my clients as well is if you have a friend or a family member that's gonna help you through this process, emotionally kind of be your sounding board, I guess you could say, let's bring them in too. Let's get them involved and help us with the decisions and the conversations from the very beginning. But as a sole buyer in this 2022 market this next year, again, you're not alone. You can do it and I'll be with you every step of the way. See you next time.